strange noise you're hearing is my robot. Now you may think one of these robotic vacuum cleaners are a waste, but let me tell you, they're fantastic. I got one for my birthday, and it's a Neato. Neato's different than the Roomba, and it's a Neato Bot Vac. Now, the thing about the Neato Bot Vac that's amazing is it's turbo. And they, when I mean turbo, I mean it is powerful. And after I swept my floor with my Dyson, and it looked completely clean, this thing sucked up so much dust and hair out of the carpet that you just wouldn't believe it. It was almost creepy. Other incredible features about this robot is that it has sensors that keep it from going downstairs, getting stuck on things, running into things, and when, it, when its battery is low, it goes back and docks itself to its charging station, so you don't have to worry about that. Now you do have to do a couple test runs and take the robot around, you know, around the house and make sure that it's not getting stuck on anything. But the cool thing is it's so advanced now that you can download an app that actually warns you, you know, it's going to eat this, it's going to eat this sock, and then it's going to tell me, oh, see? And right now it'll send me a text to my phone and tell me that it is stuck because it's got a sock stuck in its mouth. <laughs> and those are the kind of things you have to prepare for. So I pulled the sock out of its mouth. Please clean my brush. No, we just need to resume cleaning. Now, the only problem with the Neato is you want to make sure that you get the extended warranty or you're prepared to deal with it because they're still imperfect. And what I mean by that is I've had sensor issues with mine. It should alert you when the dirt bin is full. Mine has not been doing that, so I'm going to return it and get another one. And this morning I had a weird issue where it was running into walls and just getting stuck, which is also a sensor issue. And I know the sensors are clean, so it's not that. Uh, I did a hard reset on it, which means, just means turning it off all the way and turning it back on. And it resumed and fixed that particular sensor issue. So if you want this dirt here swept up, of course I'm going to have to pick up the cord. So those are the kind of things you have to check out the first time. And if you do have pets, it's going to fill up the bins really quick the first time it sweeps. But after that, you should be golden. It really works best on carpets, but as you see, swept that up pretty beautifully, considering the unevenness of this tiles. And the great thing is also with these, you don't have to buy a bag. So I'm gonna show you here. You simply pull out the front of this, and it has a filter. Look at this. I've had this thing running. It went under the bed, which is great too, because you don't have to lift up the bed to sweep underneath it all this hair and all this dust and it has swept under there a few times the last couple days and i'm telling you i am a clean person so when you pull this out in the front you just pop that right off dump that out clear out the filter and then put it right back in and it goes back to work so if you're a busy person you can also set this to go off by itself every day you can set it so it sweeps automatically while you're doing other things or you're not even at home if you're a busy person, or you have pets, or you have kids, this is um, will save you so much time, and it does such a beautiful job on the carpets. It, it, it looks like a robot did it. So if you got the money, get yourself a, a bot vac, Neato bot vac. We picked this up for a couple hundred bucks at Best Buy. It was on sale. You might say a couple hundred bucks, but any vacuum cleaner, a good one, will cost that. And it's like free labor. Really, it's a robot. I love it. All right, take care of yourselves. If you like my channel, money saving tips, rants, raves, garden wisdom, etc., please subscribe. It helps. Bye. Can't wait till they got one of these that does windows. Ugh.